Shalom friends and welcome back to AB Rustic Relics. Today I'm back with another amazing Parker Pen Hall. This hall comes from across the pond all the way from Tel Aviv, Israel. I found this lot while I was cruising the pages of eBay and once again it paid off because this box is loaded with Parker Jotters. 40 of them to be specific. So let's open it up and see what colors I ended up getting. Now, I found this lot and it was originally $72 each and I contacted the seller and I offered him 50 bucks on each lot. Just taking a chance, wasn't sure how it would go, but I figured why not. So he counter offered me at 63 and I was like, well, you can't go wrong with that. 63 bucks for 20 jotters. There's some really cool colors in it. And I was like, why not? They all, only one bad thing is they all have advertising on it. But for some reason, the Hebrew on it just intrigued me. And they look beautiful with the colors. And all these are going to be UK said an ad. Hopefully we have some English ones with some brass threads. Let's pull them out. We got one bundle, two bundle, three bundles, and four. Hmm. Should I go with the biggest or start with the smallest? Ah, we'll start with the small ones, build some anticipation. We'll go small, big, small, big. Oh, that's the big one. We don't want a small, big. Yeah, so I paid $126 all together for this lot. Let me know if you think I did good or you think I overpaid. And there is the first lot. I'm just going to go ahead and slide this box out of the way so we can focus on the pens and I'll just keep lining them up and I'll put them in order of color. And if you know what any of these pens say, please let me know because my Hebrew just ain't what it used to be. And on this plane, I don't speak Hebrew or know how to read it. Look at that. The first one we got, no advertising. But it's a little bit dirty. I think we should be able to clean that up though. And then we have white. And here we have another one in white. Oh, and the first one we had, UK. So all these UK ones are all gonna have the plastic threads. I don't know if you can see that. And if we get any English, you usually can feel the weight difference right away. And those are the brass. It looks like this one had a happy little accident. All right, next we have another white one, and this so, uh, looks like to me is Zohar Dahlia, but I'm sure I'm slaughtering it, and then some Hebrew, and this is a UK. Up next, color of the year, classic blue, and this jotter is UK, and I just love this little dog on it, though. Maybe it's some kind of a humane society or something, or some kind of pet breeders. I don't know. Or it's just some logo for a company. Let me know if you know what that is. And we'll give each jotter a little clickety-click and see how well they're working. And so far, these ones are not bad condition. There's only two pictures of each one of the lots. So I was kind of winging it. But yeah, this lot looks pretty nice to me so far. And that one's heavier. This one here, made in England. There you have another made in England. And this one's burgundy. And I don't know if that's a phone number or what this is. Let me know what this number is too. You can't know everything. But I do know this. This is one good looking jotter. Except someone had a little nervous tick or or was really hungry, I don't know, but they were chewing this pen up. But I just love that yellow. And that is the first lot. Let me know 
how that looks to you. All right, on to one of the big bags. Bam. Ready for it? Three, two, one, and go. Then tape, being a pain in the butt. And there we have a lot two. Ooh, one sticking out to me right off the bat. A color I don't have in my collection. I don't even mind that it has the Hebrew on it. See, if, tell me if you know what it is before I say it. I'm going to set these aside and let's go through these. Here. We have another classic blue. Next, oh, and that was the English. I could tell by that weight. Let's see if I was right. Ah, I was wrong. That was the UK, and I should have known by the dome top. I just like the feel of it, I guess. Here we have a burgundy UK. There's the advertising, and they really go all out on the advertising on these pens, right down the whole barrels. It's kind of crazy. All right, up next, we have one in red, and this is a UK. And if you have any good ways to remove any kind of advertising, let me know if you have any good techniques. I'd like to do that on some of these that aren't engraved down in, and it's just the screen print. Yeah, so maybe I can re remove some of those, and I have some pretty amazing colors to add to the collection. The red. And the burgundy's down here, and the red. We'll try to color coat this even. Burgundy. England. And let me show you what I was talking about with the brass threads here. If you remove the cap on this, this one has the brass thread. You can feel the weight. It's probably even an old T ball. Nope, not a T ball refill. But most of these pens, the refills will probably still work. And a lot of them I'm going to be listed online because I don't need, you know, five, six burgundy Hebrew jotters. And we have another English pen. Oh, I'm going to have a little button sticking a little bit. Red. Look at that one, all the way down from the top of the cap, all the way down to the point of the pen. But this looks slick, I like them. This is the English. Now this one is the one that caught my attention. That is a hot pen. Man, I'll bring that one to the beach. And this one was made in the UK. She's sexy. Two more Burgundies UK. So far we have one, two, three, four, five, six Burgundies. We have another blue. This is the English jotter. And if there's anybody out there with some editing skills, I would sure love to hear a, like a nice mix with some jotter clicks. So if you come across something like that or you can whoop it up, let me know because I'd love to hear it. You can even put some nib scratching in it. DJ Flex Nib in the house. Look at that. Isn't she pretty? That's the first of that color. Nice little I'm a violet, I would say. I'm not a hundo on that. Alright. Small packet. Smaller. 
And then before I go into this, I'm going to zoom in on the first two lots together. And if you know, these pens having specific color names that I'm not saying, let me know. I'd love to know what they are. Bummer here, two clips fell off. I noticed we have a couple loose clips. Z zoom in on here before we go into this. There we have it. Pretty nice looking. But yeah, we're missing a couple clips here. Let's go ahead and slide that on. We can fix those up at another time. And I'll set those aside. Before we continue, let's just go ahead and take a little closer look. Because I'm sure you would love to have a closer view so far. Let me know what color has been popping to you. That yellow just looks really nice on camera. So far, my favorites are going to be this hot pink, purple or whatever it is. This light purple and the yellow. Check out this one. I just love that orange color. I think this is going to be one of the top in this lot. Put that in there. And next is another burgundy. I have lots of these coming up on eBay. Hopefully I can figure out what a few of them say. That's where I'm counting on my fellow pen friends. Next, a black Jada. And this one is UK England. Put that one right there by the blue. Next, are two more English jotters. Hey, I can read this one. It says Caterpillar Sales Service. And Caterpillar is a heavy equipment company. You would often see their machines on job sites along the roadways or construction sites and so forth. And there's those. And next another English jotter. Should I keep saying jotter? I'm just curious. This is kind of a habit, but hopefully I'm not driving any nuts. I just want to say the black one, the orange one, the green one. Speaking of the orange one, another orange one. And this is hard to catch with that light. There we go. Look at that. Very pretty. Next, we have another white pen. See, this don't have the same ring to it. <laughs> another white jotter. And here is the first gray of the bunch. And that looks to me to be a, well, it looks like a normal gray in my hands, but on camera it looks very close to dove gray. Either way, it's a nice jotter, and this is also an English one. And here we have the last bundle, the creme de la creme. I don't know if that goes right with it, but it came out, and I'm just going to go with it. Oh, look at those colors. And my favorite pen I've seen in the lot on eBay is in this handful here. I noticed another clip fell off. We got some Lucy's. I have to do a little work on these bad boys. Clean them up. I think a lot of these will clean up real nice. And this one with the cap off is a nice olive green. That's the first olive of the bunch. Let's set these aside. And I just got to show you my favorite right off the bat. The only one with the clip tag. And look at that. Another hot color. I've seen this one on eBay and it just called to me. I love that pink color. I haven't seen it on any other jotters. And on it. There seems to be some kind of uh, ambulance or taxi service with the phone number. 
But it's a great looking pen. It has the original clip tag. And this is one dynamite looking pen. Let's put that one there. Next, we have another one in red. And I think a couple of these, I, don't, I haven't been paying the most attention. Oh, right here, I was just going to say some of these, I believe, have Arabic. And not just Hebrew, but I think this one is Arabic for sure. Let me know. And it is from 1990. And this is a, a UK jotter. And sorry if I forgot to say a couple of them. It does happen. I do mess up on occasion. Don't fault me for it. Here is another UK jotter. And this one is a nice looking yellow one. And this is more of a hot yellow. Compared to this one, it was more like a, a mustard. Next, we have teal. She's a beauty. And at the end of these, I'm going to line them up and... At the end of this, I'm going to line them up like the rainbow. And I think it'll look really good on camera. But right now we're just going to keep going. And so I got more pens to show you. Now there's heel. And next, I really love this color. It's more like a robin egg. Robin egg blue. And once again, if you know what it says, go ahead and help Big Bad Brad out. Next. Another black one. Burgundy. Ah, oh, I totally spaced, guys. I forgot to click all these. I took an intermission and uh, came back with the case of the memory loss. Whoa, we'll check that out. Look at special, extra fine. Nothing like a self-esteem boost. And here we have another blue. That forest green. UK. Another gray. And this one is England. Once again, let's take a little peek at that brass threads. That. They're quite lovely. Refill. And we're down to the last two. Sorry I didn't save the pink one until the end, but I just couldn't help it. We have a burgundy and another crispy classic blue Pantone color of the year. Let me know what your favorite blue pens are. Alright, let's line these up and take a little closer look. going with darkest to lightest but I'm not sure if I like how that turned out so I think we're gonna go with color groups Let's see how it turns out there we have option two which I am definitely liking better than the first one but I have one more idea bear with me there we have all advertising up which is probably my favorite honestly let me know if you can read any of these it would be greatly appreciated let's take a little closer look and here is the complete lot up close and personal advertising up I think it looks beautiful in my opinion let me know if you think the same also let me know if you think I paid a good price for this there's 41 pens they threw in a bonus pen um, and I paid 
$126. Would you buy it? Or do you think someone took me? I think it's a good deal, especially with all those English jars. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Bonus points to anybody who can tell me which one of these jotters had no advertising. It was towards the beginning of the video, so let me know if you were paying attention. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, tell me your favorite color jotter, or your favorite model Parker pen, and I'd also like to know what got you into pen collecting. Until next time, this is Big Bad Brad from AB Rustic Relics, wishing you... Happy Chow Mein.